Welcome back to my channel guys. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Today we're going to talk about list views inside of React Native. So React Native came out with a, a list view when they first created their system. Um, it wasn't a very good list view. It was pretty rough. It's pretty difficult to work with. So they came out with better ones here and I have the page up. As you can see there's flat list, section list, and virtualized list. So these are the three new list views out there. Now people have made a lot of list views but anytime I can use something that's internal to the framework, I try to use that as much as possible. So I'm just gonna go over Flatlist real quick for you guys. So we'll just copy this code right here. And I'm just gonna paste it right under our welcome. And if you just paste this and save it and it refreshes, you're gonna have some problems. Because first thing we need to do is import these elements. So you can see up here with our import list, we got style sheet, we got text, we got view. So we're using view, text, style sheet right here. So we need to import flat list. And also inside of flat list, they have a list item. So if we import list item, and then these three periods, that's actually not valid JavaScript. It'll throw us a syntax error. So we'll go ahead and refresh with this. Now, there's a problem too. So element type is invalid. Expected a string for built-in components. So basically, it took me a little bit to figure out this error message, and what happens is the list item doesn't work. I haven't really done a whole lot of research on this item to figure out why it doesn't work, but I'm not too concerned about it. So what I actually just did was create a text element. So just create a text, wrap it in a text element here, and then save it. Then we have an issue here. Somehow that got changed to a different character. So we refresh here. Great. Now the problem is all of our text jumped to the top and that's a problem with the styling here. So we'll just add a margin uh, top here of 30. And when we save that, it should bring it down about here. There you go. So you got welcome, we got title text. So title text is just the data here. What I'm gonna do is abstract this data here because normally it wouldn't be in built into the list thing list view here so I'm just gonna put it on the class normally you would get it from some kind of Ajax call or some fetch call or whatever so data equals this so then I'm gonna put this dot data instead should refresh we should get the same exact thing now this is not exactly the structure you're probably gonna usually have let's let's put it as a structure that we would get from data coming down from some kind of call so let's say this is a, like a post, right? This is a post title. Um, humans walk dogs recently. <laughs> Weird post title. We'll add another one in here. Uh, the title would be um, shopping is now getting more expensive. And we'll save that and we'll see how that reacts. So humans walk dogs recently. Shopping is now more expensive. So we got that, it's great, it's looking awesome. Now if we had like a body on here, and then this is some text for the body. And we'll add another body over here. Some more text for this post. We'll save that, and it's not really gonna show that because we don't have it down here. So what we can do is break this into a new line and we'll create a view and then this will be the title and we can actually make a style for this style equals styles.title then we'll make another text and we'll give this a style styles.body and we'll say item dot body slash text here now we're going to give it some basic styles so the title will be let's do font weight of 800 and then body font weight of 200 uh, we'll also give us a font size um, font size of 18 and we'll give us a font size of 14. So when we save that, it should refresh.
Ah. Oh, we have to add that in quotes here. Great. So we have our title, we have our body text, and this is the beginning to whatever kind of uh, article or something that you have posts on, however your app is displayed. So that's basically it for the flat list. I'm glad you guys watched it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like it, share it, and subscribe. Thank you guys. You guys have a great day.